Oh, hey, Brainiacs. You might notice that something's different today because you're watching Katie dance solo without the Muppet armed Shea. I'll try to <laughs> But don't fret or worry because Shea is totally fine or okay. And you can still watch Katie dance solo while you get ready for new comic book day! Whee! Wait, were you trying to rhyme there? Uh, you know, I had it rhymed, but then I, you know, I screwed it up. I'm not a poet. I just, you were a poet. I just write a poem every now and then by request. Oh, hey, welcome to Brain Scan. Hey everybody, <laughs> and welcome to this week's episode of Brain Scan, where here at Green Brain Comics, we will scan our shelves and show you all the new books hitting the racks this week, Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. You got all the R's in that month. February. February. There's a lot of R's in February. <laughs> 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 and syllables. <laughs> hey, you may have noticed our co-host Shay isn't here today. It's okay. She'll be back soon. Just got some stuff to take care of. In the meantime, we got some stuff to take care of too. Because we got all kinds of new comics. Woo! All right. I get to do the whole list. Tam is still manning the comments though. Uh, attending to the comments. Aha. Personing. Personing. Tending to. Humaning. So feel free to chime in, say hi to Tam, ask her all your questions and inquiries and polls and all that cool stuff. And then let's jump into the new, let's get ready for some new comments. Woo! All right. <laughs> Gotta get my little uh, wrestling call in there. We got some new That's stuff wrestling, over here. Right? Let's yeah. get ready to rumble. Yeah. Well, sure. No? Fighting? Fighting. Fighting sports. Combat sports. sports. What a game. What a match. Uh, <laughs> what do we got here? Starting on our strip reprint archival art book shelf, we got Alter Ego number 168. Featuring a profile on Paul Norris and his aqu aquatic co-creation in World War II, Aquaman. Wow. Oh, is that how it's pronounced? No. Nah. Wow. Also, Back Issue Magazine, number 125. Ooh, with in-depth histories of Matt Wagner's Mage and Grendel. Ooh, that sounds pretty. cool. Oh, Colleen Dorian, Stan Sakai. All kinds of cool <gasps> guys in this one. Steve Purcell's Sam and Max, Freelance <gasps> Police. What? Well, this might be the best issue of Back Issue ever. Wow. But we got more. Ooh, a cockeyed menagerie. The drawings of T.S. Sullivan. With all kinds of cool... Uh, century old illustrations like yeah, super one old. panel cartoons and all kinds of fine line illustrations it's really a, cool looking book it's a beautiful book from fanographics nice let's move on over to the comics all right off with the classics on with the new stuff a man among ye trade paperback black hammer visions Oh, look, it's got Patton Oswalt's name on it. This is a new anthology series exploring some of the backstories of the characters from Black Hammer. Uh, as you can see, it's got Patton Oswalt, Dean Kotz, Jason Wordy, Nat Picos, and it's got a couple different covers. Oh, mm -hmm. I was forgetting Ooh. about the cover. Oh, it's a Gilbert <laughs> Hernandez cover. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. <laughs> one more. We got one more. Who did this front one? Um, I think that's Jason Wordy. Oh, <laughs> it's Evan Dorkin. I recognize all of these are famous artists. Hey, this is this will be the only cover that I know all the artists on, except for the front one. Zafram. Zafram. Sure. Next up. You know, it rhymes with Alakazam. Casual fling. Whoa. Sex is never safe. Uh-oh, that sounds sexy and dangerous. <laughs> this is a new miniseries from AWA, Jason Starr, and Dal Bortalgic. Got a B cover there by Mike Diodato. Looks like it's got hints of uh, eyes wide shut going on here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with Mr. Oh, yeah, we here. We got Children of the Grave, number two. They're from the grave. Those children of the grave, they're from tomorrow. Tomorrow's grave? 
The comic book history of animation. Part three, cartoon cool. Oh, this is one of my favorite series coming out nowadays. Mm, of course Good it is. times. And this looks like it's spotlighting the comics of the 50s. You got the beat poets. You got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Got all on. that stuff. It's got coffee. What more could you want? All right. Next shelf. Commanders in Crisis. Ongoing series from Steve Orlando with art by David Tinto. Deja Thoris. Deja Thoris and her thorax. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we got that uh, B cover by Joseph Michael Linsner mm, and an A uh, cover by Perio. Right on. I recognize the signature. <laughs> the Devil's Red Bride, issue number five. I think this is the final issue in this mini series from oh. Vault Comics. Next up, Erratic from Kari Andrews oh. and Brian Reber. Fun action adventure from AWA Upshot. Nice. Oh, we got this. Oh. We got this here. Second Oof. print. That's because your case was last week, but that's now we got a second print, which is this week. Just uh, in time. <laughs> this is a second print of number one. Ooh, brand new cover by Francisco Francovia. Mm. We got G.I. Joe, a real American hero yearbook. Looks like yearbook 1985, but it's actually yearbook 2021. Nice. And then we got <laughs> <laughs> on, number Nelson. one, <laughs> second print. In case you missed it the first time around, because those did fly off the shelf at record pace. Right on. Oh, these guys look like they're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Um, it's happy hour number four. It's a Ongoing series from Peter Milligan. Don't show this to anyone that has a metaphobia. Heavy number five. Why so heavy? That's the only cover dun, we got. Dun, 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 dun. Homesick pilot. We got a bunch of different covers here. We got an A from Casper Wingard, who does interiors. We got a B from Paulina Gunasho. And a C by. Um, that is Declan Shelby. Oh, I remembered. I forgot all my picks of the week things. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what Shay's pick of the week was? Right. Okay. Kick next up. And hit. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, 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 oh! I walk with monsters. Number three. From writer Paul Cor Cornell and that other person that does art, Cantorino. Somebody. Sure. Kick-Ass versus Hit Girl, number four, from Steve Niles. All your favorite revenge-addicted revengers. Knock them dead with your breath. Ugh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> number three, Old Haunts, trade paperback, volume one. That's from AWA. Rye Trade Paperback Volume 2. From our pals over at Valiant Comics. Stay Valiant, Philip. Ooh, <laughs> a brand new number one. Radiant Black from Kyle Higgins and Marcello Costa with Becca Carey. Hey, if you're a fan of Invincible, this might be the book for you. And I am. And this is also my pick of the week. <gasps> oh! Slap! I forgot all my things. You can talk about it for a minute while I go get them. Yeah, I can't remember who did the B cover on this one. That uh, looks like they're both by... Oh, B is by Michael Costa, the interior artist. And C is by Michael Cho. So that's my pick of the week. Whack. There it is. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, on down the line. Scout's Honor, number two. I uh, really enjoyed number one. This was a good time, and it looks like we've got some uh, more good times to look forward to. Oh. Okay. King Tank Girl, number three. Oh, from those nutcases, Alan Martin and Michael Parson. Noise. Tale the True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, National Anthem, number five, by Gerard Way. That guy. I think he's in a band or something. Was. Oh, whoops. Undiscovered Country, number 12. Got us a couple different covers. Got Common Coley and uh, that other person. I think this is a mystery. This <gasps> is still a mystery. 
Oh, well, Ooh. it's really awesome. It's a very nice cover. Next up. Vampirella, number 17. The one where she hangs out with this giant um, bat. And we got a Perio cover on A and a B by Vitaly Yakovlev. Oh, La Lakoviev. Mm. Sure. Sure, something like that. Good times. Hey, that was quick. Uh, that wraps up our action adventure. Uh -oh. Now we're going to... Here we are. Turn over to a fantasy adventure comics. All right. We got so many good comics to show you on the Fantasy of Adventure shelf, but let me catch up on a couple of comments here. We get some hellos from Macario, Mike Higgins, uh, Philip Little, Joan Paisley. And hey, everybody. Do, do, do. James Holt says, Happy Pre-Comic Book Wednesday. Happy Pre-Comic Book Wednesday, James Holt. And uh, let's see, Nancy Dean, Nancy Dean says, Hello, shiny, happy people. Woohoo! Oh, hello. Looks like there's some more there. I, I can't see that. Sorry, Nancy. That's all right. Tam will, Tam will get them. We got them. And let's see, Frank says, Hey. Hey, Frank. Um, boom, boom, that pretty much catches us up. Otherwise, then some requests. And yeah, keep them rolling, folks. Yay. And we'll keep rolling down the line here. What do we got this week? We have Critical Role Vox Machina Origins. Number one. Oh, Wait a minute. Series that's... three, number one. Right. Just got to remember that. Uh, more adventures of your favorite dungeon crawlers. All from Dark Horse Comics. And we got all these awesome backlists. We've got volumes one and two, and we've got them both in a nice oversized hardcover. Ooh. Okay, next up. The Last Witch. I thought this said Mick Creepy at first, but it says McCreary. McCreary. It would be a good name to write a spooky comic, Mick Creepy. That is. I think that uh, that A cover is by VV Glass, who does interiors, but this B cover is by Jorge Corona. It and, looks like Middle West. And... Is it by the Middle West guy? Okay. Mm, oh, he does. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Good one. Good call. Ha ha! I don't just work here for the peanuts. This okay. is Tan or this is Shay's pick of the week. Woo! Woo! Wait, we get peanuts? Oh, apparently that's the word. Hmm. Can't ne wait. Next up, Neil Gaiman and P. Craig Russell's Norse mythology. Part five, issue five. It's got two <gasps> beautiful covers, <gasps> including this A by P. Craig Russell and a B by Ooh. David Mack. It also features interiors on two different stories by... David Rubin, Jill Thompson, and Galen Showman. Who traditionally does colors on, you know, on P. Craig Russell's work. Ah. Mm -hmm. Giving it that nice solid look throughout the series. Ooh, here's a new number one from Boom's Kaboom line. We got Orcs. Orcs. Number one. And this is by a single human, I think. Name. Larson? Name of Christine Larson. Nice. Uh, she also did the A cover, where Sweeney Boo did the B cover. Cute. Red Sonia, the superpowers. Number two. Got that Lucio Perillo cover on A. J. Um, Lindsner on the B. And we might have a C. <gasps> might not. I think that's it. Maybe. Boop, boop. Yep. That's all I see. All of them. Beautiful. Fantastical. We did it. That wraps up the fantasy adventure. <laughs> D-comics. D-comics. Huh. Oh, it? Wow. oh, was that bad? Was... Uh, wow. Well, that show? Hmm. Hervé Villachez. Hmm. Via Shay. Yeah, whatever. In honor. I remember. I remember him. It was an honor, not a, not a slight. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> On to our original graphic novel show, but also some, some indie comics that are done by original graphic novel people. Like, this is a mini comic, even though it's over here. It's Ginseng Roots number eight from Craig Thompson. Ooh, this series has been really good so far. I'm enjoying it. It's a ton of history. Like, mm. in each issue. Fault Lines in the Constitution, the graphic novel, the framers, their rights, and the flaws that affect us today. 
This is the first in a new line of graphic novels from first, second in their World Citizen Comics imprint. You can see it in that nice embossed spine Ooh, there. Ooh, embossed-y. Uh, I love shiny. them folks over at first, second. They put together some fantastic mm -hmm. books, and this is typical of their awesomeness. Typical. Typical. <laughs> Freiheit. Freiheit. The White Rose graphic novel. Uh-oh. I don't know anything about this, really. It looks amazing. Yeah? And it's from Plough. 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 Plow. Maybe. It's a picture plow. of a plow. Huh? All right. When. Oh, my God. Plough. It's called Context Clues. They have put a picture there so you knew how to pronounce it. Next up. Grande or Grand Odalisk. I'll pronounce it Grande because it's kind of Frenchy looking. Oh, Grande is. Odalisca. And that's from our pals at Fanographics. My Life in Transition, a super late bloomer collection from Julia K. I don't recognize that publisher, but looks nice. Parentheses by Elodie Durand. And this is about a woman suffering from... Um, seizures, memory gaps, and loss of self. Oh. From Top Shelf. Oh, got a boo -boo on it. And one more special little thing here. Life Lessons from Bob Ross. Be a Peaceful Cloud. It's got a bunch of really cool art in it from Bob Ross, as well as some prose uh, giving you his best life lessons. Uh, the philosophy of Bob Ross is... Always inspiring. Always inspire, and it is also Tam's Pick of the Week. Woo! Woo! I'd, I'd turn around and get Tam's reaction to that, but then she'd just hide her head. <laughs> okay, it does it for original graphic novels this week. Also, Gin Singers might be my Pick of the Week, but let's look at the rest of the list. Might be Black Hammer, too. Oh, it might have been. It might have been. Sometimes it takes me a minute to figure out my Pick of the Week. <laughs> All right. I gotta read a lot of comics. Over here in the DC section. Oh, anything on the. Uh, no kids' books from DC this week. We have American Vampire, 1976, number five. Moving Wait, did right that come along last week? on that series? Nope. Batman, Joker War, hardcover, number two. All right. All nice right. hardcover from Batman. Dark Detective, Future State, number three. <laughs> Featuring Batman versus Batman, and also featuring the Grifters. Versus Batman? Yep. Future State, uh, dude, what? The Flash. The Flash. <laughs> Second print, right. number one. I don't have my other glasses on. <laughs> Future State Green Lantern, number two. <laughs> Got this A cover by Clint Henry, I think. And a B cover by... Whoa. Uh, bu -bu -bum, Jamal something. Jamal Campbell. Right. Mm, nice. And we also got Green Lantern Season 2, number 11. Only one more issue left of Grant Morrison's adventure with Green Lantern. Nice. Got this cover by Liam Sharp. Oh. And be covered by somebody else. It looks like Phil Jimenez. Hmm, it's nice. I don't know. Hey, if you know who did this cover, put it in the comments. <laughs> Next up. Future State Justice League, number two. Everybody's made out of light. Everybody's purple and sparkly. And I'm not even going to try this name. They're a really nice artist. Ikea... I Keelingal. Oh, okay. Maybe. Regular name stuff. Yeah. DC, Love is a Battlefield. I think that was a Pet Benatar song. Nabatar. Pet Nabatar. I told you we should have stayed in this year. Stayed in this year. Ha ha. Ha ha. Join the Valentine's Day <laughs> melee. Nice. All kinds of short stories <laughs> like in there. Guy. I think there's even one by uh, Saladin Ahmed. <gasps> nice. Yeah, all kinds of artists. All kinds. Writers, Anthology for Valentine's Day. Good times. 
Future State Robin Eternal number two. Uh, Kevin Rodriguez did the cover here. Mm. And a B by... What's his face? Oh, what's, what's, oh, what's his face? Yeah. Who did uh, Extremity. Kick him in the face, dude. Uh, what's his name? The guy with the name. Oh, my God. You with the names. Uh, w- b- b- Daniel, Daniel Warren, Warren Johnson. Johnson of course. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> Future State. Superman. Wonder Woman. Got a Lee Weeks cover there. Number two. Terry Dodson cover. Oh, pretty. Or the Dodson's cover. Pretty still. Um, Moving on oh, yeah. up. We got Rorschach. Uh, Kevin. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> cover by Dennis Cowan and Bill Sienkiewicz, along with a B cover by interior artist Matt Fornes. Just trying to get or that maybe it's AB. Yeah. pronunciation out of my throat. <laughs> we got a second print of number one of Future State, Kara zor Superwoman, beep beep. <laughs> I was going to say, were you just possessed by a robot? Always. Next up... <laughs> Future State, Kara zor Superwoman, number two. We got that Jen Bartell cover. Nice. Pretty. And that other cover. Oh, yeah. Pew, pew. I don't recognize that. Huh. Any cover with women shooting laser beams out of their eyes is okay by me. Woman power, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got this. Uh-oh. Look, it's an A cover. Future State Teen Titans, number two. Is it shorter? Maybe. Weird. Oh, DC. Tell your publisher to get their public your, their printing act together. Get your printing act together, publisher. And there's the B cover. B cover by Dustin Nguyen. Ooh. Uh, just a heads up, folks. We are sold out of the second printing of Teen Titans number one. Wow. Hopefully they'll do a second print. Or I mean the third print. And one more. Moving up to the top shelf for Sweet Tooth The Return. From Jeff Lemire and Jose Villarubia. Ah. Nice. All right. Get your Jeff Lemire fix in. And that's all for DC. You know, I, yeah. Some elf just came by and set up all the variants for us. Hooray. Thank you, elves. Come on over here. Oh. What do we got here for variants? We have Excalibur number 18. We have a 1 in 25 uh, Daughterman cover. Nice. Oh, it's all the rogues. Look at all those rogues. Rogues through time. Eternals number two, one in ten. Uh, acid Rubik design variant. Mighty Morphin number four, one in 25. Peach Momoko. Oh, nice. Radiant Black number one, one in 50. It's a Goni Montez cover Ooh. in the style of the, the helmet variants that he did for Power Rangers. <gasps> nice. Taskmaster number three, one in 25. Uh, artist by Shane Davis. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Number 59, 1 in 25. This is Radiant Black. Um, I'm not sure what the breakdown is variant. here. So I think that's a 1 in 25, yeah. 1 in 25. That's by David Finch. Eternals, number 20, 1 in 25. I'm sorry, number 2. One in 25 by Phil Jimenez. Mighty Morphin number four, one in 15. And Radiant Black number one, one in 10. And while we're here, we'll show off a couple oh. of new things. These will be in our gaming section, our tabletop section. A new licensed smash up version with Marvel characters. This is a fun game that I've played several times, but I'm looking forward to the Marvel version. Ooh, a puzzle. It's a 1,000 piece. Puzzle with all the Marvel characters on it. Easy framing format. Nice. All your favorites. Everyone loves puzzles. Oh, here's some more variants. We got Sword number three, one in 25. Mighty Morphin number four, one in 10. And Orcs, one in 10, number one. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. That wraps up, I'm <laughs> sorry, our variants. Oh. Now we're gonna come around to do the Marvel shelf. All right, over here on the Marvel, we got Daredevil number 27. 
And we've got a B cover on that in the style of the Marvel Masterworks. Oh, variant. nice. Eternals number two. Got that acid ribic. And we've got another one that I'm not real familiar with, but it looks nice enough. Great sure. job. Fantastic Four, number 29. Mark Brooks cover. And a Marvel Masterworks by Amela, Emanuela Lupacino. Oh. King in Black, number two, second print. Whoop, 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 whoop. I think that's uh, interior art by Ryan Stegman. Black Panther, number one, kicking off the new series. Oh, it's King in Black. <laughs> King in Black, back, Black Panther. Panther number one. Yeah, we're still waiting for the final issue That's from right. Ta-Nehisi Coates. But in the meantime, we got Black Panther, King in Black. Sure. King in Black, Thunderbolts, number two. Uh, Chunky Butters doing the B and the A by Kyle Hotz. Chunky Butters. Chunky uh, Butters forgot to put a new tag on it. Morbius, Bond of Blood. Oh, Giuseppe Comancoli cover. Nice. Uh, this is written by Ralph Macchio with art by Tom Riley. But not that Ralph Macchio. No, this is a different Ralph Macchio. Ooh, we got an epic collection of Morbius, the living vampire. I like how this one was like, the Bond of Blood, because he looks all scary. But this one, I mean, I guess he looks just as scary. He's got a pig nose in this one. Yeah. He makes me, oh, yeah, he's... He has like a bat face. Dude, this is slash fic. <laughs> oh, look, they're tearing open his costume. Good stuff. Classic monster Marvel Bronze Age weirdness. Next up. Power Pack Outlaw, number three. I'm guessing there's one cover there. Yep. Amazing Spider-Man, number 59. Got that Mark Bagley cover and a Marvel Masterworks. That looks like a Dodson as well. Show sure enough does. Nope, it's Lupacino. Oh, another Lupacino? Sure. Lupacino. Okay, let's go mm. down real quick for this... Exciting little book. <gasps> this is so cute. This is a superhero adventures board book with eight spinning heroes or villains. And they all like move around the, the page. So cute. They spin. It's fun. They fly around in the little scenery. It's so cute. All right. Moving on down the line. Taskmaster number three. That sure looks like a David Finch cover. Excalibur, number 18. <laughs> uh, Asrar cover. <laughs> Sword, number three. Um, Valerio Skiti cover. Ooh, another epic collection. This one's X Factor, Genesis, and Apocalypse. Ooh, Ooh from John classic, Byrne. The classic X Factor. Going all the way back. Oh yeah. And finally. X Force. Oh, there's one more. Oh, uh, X-Force 17. I love this book by Ben Percy and Joshua Kassara. Lots of fun. And one more thing. Wolverine. Black, white, and blood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a gimmicky miniseries anthology with all kinds of different creators. Looks like John Ridley, Matt Fornes, Donnie Cates, Chris Bocciolo, Judd McKay, and Jesus Saiz. With a cover by Matt Fornes. Good stuff. Nice. Okay. That wraps up our Marvel show. Wink. Now we're going to move over. Well, because Star Wars. But that's okay. It's not really Marvel show. Marvel Universe show. Let's call it that. Yeah. Now we're going to check out what's over here in our sci-fi section. Yeah, let's start out alphabetically. Starting with Low, which we have just relocated to our sci-fi section, if you are looking for it on the shelf. And this is number 26. We made it. We gave it a new shelf placement just in time for the final issue. Oh, boy. Got a Greg Tacchini cover. Got a Matteo Scalera cover. And I think one more. Ooh. By Andrew Robinson. Pretty. I'll be sorry to see this book go, but happy that it made it over to sci-fi. Just right. in time. Okay, on down the line. Origins, four of six. I've been enjoying this series. Weird sci-fi for sure. 
with intense illustrations by Joshua Rabelka. Mighty Morphin, number four. He's like, no comment. And that's the Carlini B that also features the legacy numbering. Uh, just a heads up to you Power Rangers fans. This features the reveal of <gasps> the identity of the brand new Green Ranger. Oh. Who is it? Who could it be? Why are you asking me? I just... Mm. How about Star Trek Voyager 7's Reckoning, number four. Number four? Number seven. Uh, let's keep it relatively alphabetical. Space Bastards, number two. Uh, <laughs> Tired of getting kicked in the balls? <laughs> this is such a bizarre book. Uh, and also features bizarre illustrations by Derek Robertson. Nice. Co-creator of The Boys. The uh, Boys. Uh, Transformers Escape. <laughs> Number oh. two. Wow. <laughs> Just like, um, you know, that magician guy who escaped. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's it for sci-fi this week. But we got more Woo. in Star Wars. We got Star Wars Darth Vader number 10. Ooh, with a Chris Sprouse cover on the variant. It's a trading card variant. It's number 29 to 36. Getting close. It's only seven more. Ooh, and a third print of Star Wars High Republic number one. How about that? They'll keep printing more. You keep buying them. Yeah. Um, All right, we got a couple more books left. See. Got one yeah, here in the just manga. A couple over here. We have Pokemon Adventures Collector's Edition Volume Six. Check out all your Pokemon. Let's oh, your see. We got Pokemon. You got the Mugwump. You Puccini. got Angry Dog. Oh, it's the um. Mugwump. Mudkip. Sure. There's that one. Drink the milk of the black centipede. What? That's not even a Pokemon. And one more. <laughs> Joe and Russ. Over here in our tween section. From Kaboom. Brand new, all new, original graphic novel from Kaboom and Boom Studios. Hmm, all sorts of a ding. Yup. Leap Lorp. I think that might be it. That is totally it, except for the fact that we got new lighting, so it all looks nice and bright over here. Yay! The lighting is fixed. Thank you, lighting person. I hear he's very handsome. He is. He's very tall when he's on a ladder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's Katie's pick of the week? What's it going to be? Quick, tell him. I want to pick it for you. No. I mean, what are you going to pick for me? Vampirella. What? No! <laughs> I mean... There's an audience for Vampirella. I am just not it. <laughs> there are other books I will read first in the stack. Oh boy, we're losing viewers, so let's wrap oh this gosh. up. Thank you for everybody. Thank you everybody for tuning into this week's episode of Brain Scan. We do this live every Tuesday. It's live, folks. <laughs> right now? At 6.30. So be sure to like, comment and follow us on Facebook so that you get notified every time we go live. If you can't catch us live or aren't following us on Facebook because you're watching us on YouTube, we archive all of our episodes on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe by hitting that little bell bling, to also be notified every time we upload a video to YouTube. We are now going live twice a week. The other time is at Saturday at 10.30 a.m. as we go through our last call list for our last call for confirmed orders. And that's everything that we have to put in our orders for that weekend to make sure that you get the copies that you want. And how. Stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. But if you're on the Twitter, we are Green Brain CMX. Shop our web store at greenbraincomics.com and do all of your pre-orders at comichub.com. If you are new to Comic Hub, be sure to select Green Brain Comics as your choice store. One very important note about Comic Hub and Last Call. Because Monday is a national holiday, oh, right. DC Comics has moved up their Last Call due dates. Uh, they have a full list of items on 
on the last call carousel on comic hub right now <gasps> get those orders into us through comic hub uh, we will be taking those orders through Thursday at 5 p.m. Uh, I will be sending my final numbers in right after that. So make sure you get them in if you watch DC Comics. Yeah, double check that list because they are launching the whole new uh, Infinite Frontier That's right. series. We, is. Yeah, we Did got the new, the new, uh, the new Joker series. Joker number Ooh. one is on this last call. So make sure you get those orders in. You don't want to miss that book. Alright. Final line. Was that everything? I think that was almost everything. We are <laughs> spreading the love of comics and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. <laughs> there it is. Feed your brain at Green Brain Comics. All right, folks, I'll try to rhyme next week. Get your orders in through Comic Hub. Don't miss that last call from DC. We'll see you all tomorrow. Dress warm. It's going to be a cold morning. Ooh. But we got some hot, hot comics for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, folks, have a nice night. Feed your brain. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>